In this video, I'll demonstrate how to format your mind map. This will include adding topic images, changing the shape and color of topics, changing the layout of topics, formatting boundaries, relationships, and callouts, and setting map formatting defaults. There are three ways to add images to topics in your map. Through the Mind Manager image library, using drag and drop from File Explorer, or by uploading your own image file. In the Insert tab on the ribbon, click the drop-down arrow under Image. Click From Library. You can also use the Context menu by right-clicking on the topic. The image library will appear in the right-hand navigation window. You can either select an image by category or search for a specific keyword. When you found an image you like, there are two ways to add it to your map. First, if a topic is selected, left-click on the image. It will be automatically placed in the default position on your topic. Second, drag and drop the image over to your topic. The green rectangle indicates where the image will be placed. You can then place the image above, below, or on either side of the topic text. You can also add this type of image by right-clicking on a topic, hovering over Image, and clicking From Library. There are two ways to add your own image into your map. First, select a topic, and in the Insert tab on the top ribbon, click the drop-down arrow under Image. Click From File. Find the image you would like to add. Click Insert. Or, you can simply drag and drop the image into your topic. Open File Explorer and find your image. Drag and drop the file onto your topic. Click Add as Topic Image. Resize the image to your desired size. Mind Manager allows you to specify your desired shape and color for each of the topics or subtopics in your map. Select the topic or subtopic you would like to change. You can also select multiple topics and change their shapes all at once. In the Format tab in the top ribbon, click Topic Shape. A drop-down menu will appear showing the different shapes you can choose from. Pick your desired shape and left-click it. Alternatively, you can select topics and right-click to open the context menu. In the top formatting bar, select the Topic Shape drop-down and select your desired shape. Select the topic or subtopic whose color you would like to change. In the Format tab, click the Fill Color drop-down and select your desired color. You can also right-click a topic to change the fill color through the context menu. To change the outline color of topics and subtopics, repeat the steps I just demonstrated, but select Line Color instead of Fill Color. To easily duplicate the fill color of a specific topic, use the eyedropper tool in the fill color dropdown. Click the eyedropper, and then click the topic whose color you would like to use. You can now use that exact color to fill other topics and subtopics. For even more formatting options, right-click on a topic and click Format Topic. This will open the Format Topic menu. Here you can customize layouts, fonts, text alignment, shapes and colors, and even topic sizing and margins. Browse through the tabs to customize your formatting. You can change the layout and structure of individual topic and subtopic trees in your map. Currently all topic trees are in a radial map format. I will demonstrate how to change one part of our map to a different layout. Select the main topic for the portion of the map that you would like to change. In the Format tab in the top ribbon, click the Layout drop-down menu. Select your desired layout. Alternatively, you can right-click on a main topic to open the context menu. In the Main Formatting toolbar, click Layout and select your desired map structure. Finally, you can change a map layout by clicking the Design tab in the top ribbon and selecting your desired map structure in the Map Layout field. In addition to topics, you can also customize the formatting for boundaries, relationships, and callouts to fit your needs. 
you can change the fill color, line color, and shape of each boundary in your map. Select the boundary you would like to format. In the Format tab, select your desired fill color and line color in the respective drop-down menus. You can further customize your boundary by right-clicking and selecting Format Boundary. This window lets you customize the boundary's shape, line color, line weight, line pattern, fill color, and transparency. Right-click on a relationship and click Format Relationship. Here you can change the color, style, line weight, and line shape. Callouts are treated like topics in Mind Manager, meaning you can format them the same way as you would for a main topic or a subtopic. You can change the shape, color, text, and location of the callout to fit your needs. You can change the default format for topics, relationships, boundaries, and callouts for each map you create. Once a new default is set, all new map elements created will follow that default formatting. Here I will demonstrate changing the default format for a callout. Select the callout that you want to use as your default format. In the Format tab, click Set Default Style. All new callouts will now follow this default format. You can also specify if you would like a default setting for all topics or just subtopics by selecting your preference in the Set Default Style dropdown. Reset your default settings to the original template theme at any time by selecting a map element and clicking Reset to Default. Or use the keyboard shortcut Control plus Space. Please note that these default settings only apply to the map file you have open.